You know when you order something online and you fully expect it to be awesome? You've done all your research, you've done all the, the due diligence, but then this thing arrives and it just beats all of your expectations. It beats everything you could have hoped for. Well, that's exactly what happened with these chinos from Blue and Green. I've been looking for a pair of chinos for a while. I find them to be a, a very good alternative to denim. I find them very, very versatile, much, much more versatile than a pair of jeans. You can dress them up easily, you can dress them down easily. And they're also very, very good for, for the summer months. The, the, the perfect transitional trouser between like, yeah, towards the sort of spring, summer kind of time, then when we're coming out the summer towards the autumn. But for whatever reason, I just couldn't find a pair that, that I was particularly into. Nothing that really, really grabbed me. And so, yeah, I kind of like put that in the back burner. But then quite by chance, Nick from, from Heddles, he reached out and he was like, listen dudes, the blue and green guys have asked me, that's blue and green in Soho in New York. The blue and green guys have, have asked me if uh, you would mind checking out, checking out the chinos that they've just done. And I'm like, yeah, sure, tell me more. And then, so, as I chatted to the guys over at Blue and Green, it turns out that they're doing their, their in-house line now. So that's, that's, that's uh, several pairs of jeans and then these chinos as well. And, yeah, I was, I was quite astonished at, um, at who they got to, to make these chinos. They actually reached out to the, the guys over at Oni Denim in Japan. And most denim heads will know Oni Denim. They make absolutely amazing denim fabric. And using that denim fabric, they make absolutely incredible jeans. It's like the denim head's denim brand. It's, it's, it's amazing. So when I heard that they'd actually turned their hand to making chinos, I'm just like, yes, now, now I'm interested. Right, let's just, let's wind this back a little bit before we go any further. Because I think it's important now that we define particularly what chinos actually are. And chinos are, well, they're a kind of trouser. And they've got specific details that make that kind of trouser a chino trouser. These days it's quite often mixed up with khakis. And khakis, well, okay, this is getting confusing, but bear with me here. Khaki is technically just a color, but it's been adopted for a certain kind of, a certain type of trouser. Chinos can also come in khaki, but it doesn't make them khaki because they've got the chino detailing. Still with me? Okay, good. Right, chinos actually, <laughs> chinos like khakis, can trace their history back to, back to the military. And the, the khaki was adopted by the, the British Empire military back in the mid 18th century over in India because their bright red coats, surprise, surprise, weren't particularly good camouflage in the middle of India. Uh, chinos were adopted by the American forces in the American Spanish War uh, for, the, for the guys that were, were based in the Philippines. I don't know very much about the war, I should really look that up. Anyway, they were, um, they were developed for the guys who were based over in the Philippines. They were made out of uh, a Chinese fabric and that Chinese fabric was called, no, the Spanish called the Chinese Chino, so this type of trouser became the Chino. Right, so what makes a pair of Chinos a pair of Chinos? Because there's, there's a specific set of, of details that go into a pair of Chinos to make them a pair of chinos and not a potato. Anyway, so they're made of a cotton twill. Now, the cotton twill is just the kind of fabric and that means that they can come in, they, they can and they do come in a wide variety of colors. And I'd say 80 to 90% of those colors that they come in, you just shouldn't mess with. At least I personally wouldn't mess with them. So they come in khaki which is probably why they, they're mistaken for khaki so often. They also come in this, this olive green. The, um, I've seen navy ones looking absolutely amazing. And, and every so often I've come across a pair of like really deep gray, like dark gray, like almost like a charcoal color that also really, really works super well. Personally, I'm staying away from, from the salmon, the, the baby blue and the, the, the sort of light yellows. That's just, that's not my style. And so along with, with the, the heavy cotton twill and the, the subdued colors, they've also got, uh, they've got these slanted pockets at the front. 
Uh, they're flat front in the pockets, so there's no, there's no pleats in it. Uh, they've got these jetted pockets at the back as well. Now, there's belt loops. And this is something I'm super curious about, and it's something I have to look into, like, down the line. Because these, well, Chinos can, can trace their, their origin back to the, the late 18th century, where, where most guys were keeping up their pants with suspenders. That's why, that's why you don't see belt loops on, on early jeans, right? So, yeah, I, it could be that they were military wear, maybe belts were used much more often in the military. I can imagine that being a practical thing to, to have a utility belt or something like this. But yeah, that's something I have to look into. Uh, along with that, and this is also something that, well, this won't go back to like the, the early origins of the Chino because they didn't have zippers back then. But yeah, the modern ones, they'll have, they'll have a zip fly over a button fly. And yeah, that's it. Um, obviously, the, this pair from Blue and Green share a lot of the, of the details, or all of the details that is talked about. And yeah, let's, let's dive into these details with this particular pair. Right, before we go any further, just a little bit of a caveat. No, not caveat. A little bit of further information. For, for the observant guys out there, you're going to notice that um, these are the chinos that I did, or that I used in the, in the packing video a couple of weeks ago. And I fully intended to take them away on holiday. But, uh, my girl pointed out, there's like, you still want to do the review in those, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I want to wear them for a couple of weeks before, like, so I can give the guys like a really in-depth understanding about how they wear. And she's like, we're going away on a bus, which is basically like fancy camping. And it's you. If you want to do something with those, you're going to lose them, or you're going to set fire to them, or at the very least, you're going to stain them badly. So take something else. And you know what? She was absolutely right. So these stayed at home. They've stayed relatively unworn. I, I used them on, on the outfit videos um, I did for the packing video. And obviously I've tried them on before as well. So yeah, just that. So straight out of the box, you can tell, you can tell that these are something, something different. They're, they're, they're on another level to what I've been used to before, what, what my expectations were. The only way I can liken it is do you remember the first time that you got your hands on, on a proper pair of raw denim jeans? You know, they just, they, they feel different, they look different, they've got a different hand to them. And that is just something so different to everything you'd experienced in denim before. Well, that's exactly what it was like with these. I mean, if you just look at this fabric, it's just got this, this, this heft to it, this, this weight to it. Not, not being heavy, but it's just got uh, this, this luxurious quality to it. You can see it's got like this, maybe it's hard to see in the camera, but like, there's this sheen to it that, that I've only seen very, very rarely and only in very, very high quality, quality fabrics. And then along with that, I mean, already from that, I was like, okay, I'm expecting something pretty special here. And then when I dived into the details, just, just even on a very cursory look, I'm just like, wow, okay, now I'm, I'm super impressed. I can't wait to see what's coming next. I mean, if we just look here, just, in, yeah, you pull them out of the bag and so the initial thing you see is the blue and green um, label here. And then you've got these, these beautifully integrated jetted pockets here. I mean, it's just like, it, it's flawlessly done. And then the, the stitching coming here in the darts. You notice here, this is, this is different from, from a pair of jeans, right? The body is not, it's not straight. It sort of curves in over the hips and that's how you, the pants stay up, obviously. So you've got to also like carve your jeans in or carve your, your pants in a little bit. Carve, curve, curve your pants in a little bit. The way the jeans do it is they've got a yoke that that sort of makes that kind of shape across here. The way that it's done on more tailored pants or pants that are certainly using a lighter fabric, because this, this is a lighter fabric than denim. They, they use darts. So you can see the darts here and that's how they just like bring the waist in slightly. And this is just, it's integrated seamlessly. Seamlessly is not the right word, because uh, it's a seam. But it's integrated beautifully down here onto these jetted pockets, and the jetted pockets are just, they're just done so very, very nicely. And then you've got the, you've got the belt loops just perfectly offset against these, uh, the, the, these darts down here. So normally, in a pair of jeans, you've got five belt loops. In a pair of chinos, you have got seven. And yes, these have seven. Glad I should have checked that beforehand. But anyway, the belt loops are something that this is like a, a personal, it's something I, I look directly at when I'm looking at a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers. And the quality of the belt loops says a lot about how, 
how much that brand values quality in their construction. And here does not disappoint at all, like really not. They're perfectly integrated into uh, the waistband there. So that's, I guess that'd be like similarly to how jeans would have them tucked under the waistband. Um, then we're going to go to the front. We're at the front, again, super, super clean. The single closure button here with the zip fly. Fly being from, let's have a look, Universal. We've got a little coin pocket in here that's like jetted, like the, the back pockets. It's of a decent, decent depth, kind of like, basically is about the same size and same depth as, as a coin pocket and a pair of jeans. Um, useful for hiding chewing gum or putting your AirPods on or, in or something. Uh, the pocket here, are, we've got slanted pockets going down here that run beautifully up into the waistband. Really nice detailing in, in that. Then if we open it up, zip, zipper runs super nice, super smooth. We open up and along with belt loops, that's like the first indication to how, how much a brand cares about detailing. The second indication is how clean the construction is on the inside. Because that's something that's just really for the wearer. It's just for, for us geeking out about. And I mean, just, just look at that. It's just, it's so beautifully clean. Like the waistband is backed with this, this ecru fabric, this ecru cotton fabric that feels like same kind of, same kind of weight as, as the rest of the chinos. And that is used on the, the back pockets. It's brought up into the waistband and it's used for the pocket bags in the front pockets and the little coin pocket. And okay, let me just turn them inside out. We can look at it properly then. Right, the back pockets here. Just look at how clean that construction is. Uh, it's just, it, it's flawless. It really is flawless. It, I, I, I can't say anything more than that. It's, it's one of these things like, okay, I'm pretty much speechless about how nice that is, how good that is. There's, there's, there's not a single loose thread. And like, guys, really honestly, I did not pour over these before and pick all the loose threads out for this. It's just, this is, Pretty much apart from trying it on my first impressions of these. Yeah, it's, it, it's perfectly done. Going to the front. Yeah, going, going up here. Um, because these are, um, because these are darted at the back, then I, I think that that means the outside seam can be much, much more clean. There isn't that, um, there isn't that sort of cutout where the selvage edge is always like cut out a little bit on a pair of jeans. So this is just totally clean construction running right the way up to the outside of the pockets and here as well. The pocket bags themselves, um, it really feels like the similar weight of fabric to, to the rest of the chinos. So that's gonna be very, very hard wearing. I've got no, no worries about that. Uh, you can see here where it's integrated to the outside of, of, the, of the pans. Under, underneath here, you've got like the little that's the little pocket bag for the, for the coins. Maybe if I'm being really, really fussy and just thinking like right away, I might be slightly concerned that the pocket bag's a bit bigger than the opening, so it might be hard to get things in and out, but that's just me being particularly fussy about things. The, the inside of the fly is backed also with this, this e-crew fabric. Um, which is just really nice detailing. We've got a little bit of overlocking stitching going down here and going down here, but yeah, that's perfectly, perfectly okay. Um, don't hate on the overlocking. Uh, and then just a, a single size label here. So blue and green uh, O2Z, um, size 32. Sizing for these, um, it's, it's not, it's, they're vanity size. So I'm a 34, 35 in, in reality. 32 fits me absolutely perfect. Made in Japan, Okayama, yeah. I, and yeah, like I said, I think by Oni Denim, using the best quality materials. And yes, they've used the best quality materials throughout. Um, just a quick look at the button here. The button is, it's, it's a plastic button, it's got four holes. It's, it's a nice tonal color with it. 
sewn on quite solid and it's sewn on slightly sort of, it's not directly sewn, sewn onto the fabric, they've left a little bit of space and then wrapped the fabric around about the button and so it sits off a little bit so it's much easier to do the, do the button up when you're putting the pants on. It's another one of these details that shows that I, I guess you have to do that by hand, right? I can't imagine a machine that's capable of doing that. So, yeah, again, another another sort of tick in the quality box. Uh, looking down, sort of further down the down the leg, you can see here the quality of the, the construction just continues. Let me just unwrap these because I cuff them a little bit. Uh, you've got fully felled seams going down the inside, so all completely clean, um, totally clean. And then you've got quite a, you've got maybe an inch, inch and a half, maybe like three centimeters of, of a cuff here, of a turn up. They came a little bit long for me, so I'm actually gonna have to get them, get them hemmed. And I'm really terrible at doing that, I'm really lazy with it, so I just end up cuffing them a couple of times, but still. Uh, yeah, totally clean down here, looks absolutely fantastic. And down here you can kind of see more of the sheen like going on from the fabric. It's just, ha. Huh. I, I can't wait to start wearing these. I can't wait to see what they're going to look like worn in and like after a couple of washes. Run down the front again. You see in the fold lines here. There's this 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 sheen from the fabric. It's it's, it's gorgeous. Um, you can tell. I can't really get over how nice that is. Yeah, the the buttonhole here. It's yeah. It's um, as I'd expect. Totally cleanly done. Beautifully done and. Yeah, no question that it's going to be durable and, and, and last for, for, the, for the long run. They're sort of, they're a medium rise. I'd say they, they, they sit perfectly at a medium rise. They're, they're not medium to low, they're not medium, they're a medium, a medium rise. They've got a good amount of room through the thigh. They're, they're not, they're certainly not made to, to be like overly roomy through the thigh, but I've got big thighs and I found them very, very comfortable. And then from the knee down, they taper down towards the, the, the leg opening. But it's a nice, easy taper. So it, it just sits very, very nicely on, on the body. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that there because there's not, there's not so much more to say apart from just, yeah, there's not so much more to say. Um, I, I, I'm gonna return to these like I'd planned after a couple of weeks and, and give you my impressions after wearing them for a few weeks. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, something else I've just noticed, down at the bottom here of the pocket, there's a nice little bar tack just to give like a little bit more durability. And also up at the top here, bar tacks replace rivets at strain points. And you've also got them either side of the, uh, of the pockets in the back and either side of the coin pocket as well. And yeah, that's how they, that's how they always sew on belt loops. Hmm. Anyway, right, okay, after a few weeks of wearing these, I'm gonna to return to them, I'm gonna give you an update, uh, just to show you how, how they are breaking in, how Blue and Green and Oni have actually come together and, and managed to, uh, to, to make a pair of chinos that's intended to wear, like a, or like to wear in like a pair of jeans. So this has been kind of another little departure away from denim, but into the wider world of menswear and the wider world of quality menswear. And as I mentioned with the with sunglasses video, this is something that, that I want to develop a little bit more with you guys, because I think it's also, it, there's super interesting conversations to be had in the wider world of, of menswear, not focusing so much on, on our beloved denim. There's so many aspects of our beloved denim that if we use that as a yardstick to measure other things against, then, then it's a super inter interesting realm to, to develop this channel into. So I, ho I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you, you don't mind me like departing a little bit away from the denim. And if you have enjoyed this and, and if you're not already, or if this is your first time here and you've been digging it, if you could consider hitting that subscribe button, that would be amazing. And along with that, there's the little bell icon as well. You can click on that and that's gonna give you a notification whenever I drop another video. Um, a, a, a thumbs up. I mean, I, I know I'm, <laughs> I'm asking for things and things and things, but like if you have enjoyed this video, a thumbs up really does help out the channel. It, it does all its blah, blah, blah with the YouTube algorithm. And that helps us to grow the channel. And that helps me to develop um, all these, these conversations that I hope to have with you guys. Uh, alongside this, there's the links to, to all our social media and our, all our other good stuff down in the description below. And guys, I, I hope you're all happy and healthy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I hope you're taking care of each other. 
and I'm going to see you in the next vlog.